Hi, I'm Paul Burns with Porcelain Tub Restorations, BathRenovationHQ.com, and we're here at our shop at Tub Potion Labs where we develop equipment, products, and coatings for this industry. Today we're going to take a look at three issues that you might be interested in. First is mechanical and chemical adhesion, and then we're going to take a look at the performance of these different products, and we're going to take a look at the aesthetic quality of the products. So, let's get started. When we talk about mechanical adhesion, we talk about taking the gloss off, getting it prepared for, for adhesion. And this tile has been de-etched, de-glossed, and it's now got nooks and crannies for, um, to improve the performance of the coatings, having something to lock onto. As the coatings tighten up and shrink as they cure, it gives them something to grab onto. Fiberglass acrylic tubs can be abraded, etched with sandpaper, whereas this, this can't touch it. You can hear the difference in sound with the abraded tile. Okay, most uh, refinishing contractors nowadays, um, etching used to be absolutely critical, but now we try, uh, uh, most contractors are trying to use chemical adhesion to skip the step of etching. Um, with some success and some not, uh, most use an epoxy primer for the adhesion. Some take it a step further by using a saline that the industry uh, regularly uses. And this is a, um, a wipe-on primer. It's a one-time use. Put it on, throw it away. I'm not a big fan of these because they're not stable and they gel on contact with atmospheric moisture. And uh, the adhesion quality is so-so. After an extensive search, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of salines available uh, in the industry. And these were developed in the aerospace industry for space vehicles uh, so they get the coatings to stick in, in space. And after a lot of research, we found a Porsche of all salines in Germany and we've added it to our tub potion line of products. And we're going to take a look at the performance issues today. All right, here we have a glazed tile. Represents a porcelain finish on a, on a tub. And this is an epoxy coating, an activated epoxy with an activated polyurethane top coat. And we're just going to take a look at the adhesion qualities. Okay. Not very good. These were all shot several days ago and allowed to cure. Now we have one with a saline applied that's often used in the in industry and it's giving some performance value. A little bit better than the straight epoxy. Now we're going to take a look at uh, tub potion number eight on, an on, a, on a glazed tile. And this has a polyester bonding primer versus an epoxy. And this also has a polyester top coat. Uh, very compatible systems. I'm going to show you that in a minute, too. Pretty good. This is the same product, Hub Potion number 8, with our polyester bonding primer and polyester top coat on an etched tile. And just to show you that I haven't done anything to the razor blades, these are still quite sharp. That's the difference in performance. Um, this saline is heads and tails above the other salines on the market. The performance value is greatly improved using tub potion number eight, along with the polyester uh, bonding primer. It's just incredible. So let's take a quick look at the aesthetic value. Okay, and the one on the right is the epoxy, and you can see the reflection uh, from the lamp in the ceiling. And look at the clarity difference as we go to the polyester. It's much cleaner, it's much flatter, it's just a much cleaner looking shine, much more resembling the original porcelain. As you can see, the shine on the glazed tile is equal on the coating. And as we come over here, it becomes foggy and there's a texture to the tile, to the coating. It's much sharper on the, on the glaze. So the epoxy polyester, poly, excuse me, polyurethane coatings just don't quite have the same effect as the polyester does. All right, so that's the big difference in the quality of the coatings. Uh, you get a, just a much, much nicer look and we get a much improved adhesion. So aesthetically and performance wise, it's just a superior product. Now let's take another look at why I don't like the epoxy polyurethanes. Here we have our polyester product and I'm going to add the primer that's been activated 
to the top coat to show its compatibility. This is an epoxy primer activated with the polyurethane top coat activated. And what happens is they're not compatible with each other. And it's one reason why I don't like to use them for our coatings is the chemistry turns into jello. And I just feel like it's a much better solution to stay within the same family of coatings. As you can see, this is still in a liquid state. And we achieve that by using the same catalyst in all of the products. This is our polyester bonding primer, tub potion number 11. And then we go to our tub potion number 13, which is a polyester porcelain white. We also have the porcelain bone. And we have a clear coat, which works great for hard water problems with well waters and such. But all three are activated with the same activator. And this is an aliphatic uh, activator. It's high performance. Keeps the coatings from turning yellow or changing color. Along with our tub potion number eight, saline, it's a knockout combination. So we try to give you a really quality product here and it's important to test and to prove uh, to folks exactly what it is they're getting. Okay, I think we about got it. We've covered uh, the performance issues. We've covered uh, adhesion issues. Um, with our saline and bonding primer, it's not absolutely necessary to etch, but we still believe in giving you both types of adhesion, mechanical and chemical. Uh, both of these were just uh, beautiful as the way they performed and the way that they look. So thank you much. Uh, I think that covers it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at Porcelain Tub Restorations. Hey, thanks for watching.